delighted to participate in this high-level discussion on the new pan-European personal pension product. Considering the importance of pension sustainability issues. By this I mean not only financial but also social sustainability, that is adequacy, adequacy issues for pensions in Latvia. I hope the new instrument will inevitably have an impact on the private pension market. Moreover, it also has an effect on how well people will live after they retire. Therefore, in this particular discussion, the Ministry of Welfare has an interest also in the product profitability and in the additional effects that private pensions can have on the public pension system which operates in the changing world of work as well as in contribution of such EU level solutions. From the moment of introduction of the Latvian pension system, we have seen that the third voluntary pension pillar has a significant potential. It can really contribute to improving that the total adequacy of the Latvian old age pensions will be higher than today. The new product could, uh, could address the fragmentation of the European private pension market. It will offer standards, portability, provide EU-wide investment opportunities. In order to make a good use of these opportunities and benefits, our service providers will have to operate in a more competitive environment. Also, people making savings for their retirement will have to be well informed. The issues of costs for such services is therefore also very important as better products for better prices are aimed at. Our discussion may possibly also include additional elements. The Financial Industry Association position, Association's position on capital market development uses a much broader approach. More precisely, an important element of our social security system is being added to the discussion. The second pillar pensions. The overall framework of the position consists of European Commission action plan for the establishment of a capital market union and the Latvian financial sector development plan for 2017-2019. The feedback from the association regarding development of instruments for expanding investment opportunities for Latvian state funded pensions is positive. However, all the solutions need be to save very responsible and sustainable, as they also play a role in the, in the development, the developments in social situation and stability. The interests of future pensioners, uh, retired persons, and the provision of future pensions have to be prioritized. Only based on such preconditions there can be a discussion relating to pensions and linked to growth in the economy and capital markets. Moreover, some of the plans and proposals still may need to be well grounded in the Latvian reality. It is well known our state pension system already comprises a mandatory funded pillar which quite a part of contributions channeled to it. The fact that it is mandatory puts additional tasks and responsibility of the state and asset managers. This limits <coughs> appetite for risks and some extent even openness. The second pillar is not voluntary or additional. It's an in integral part of the system and diversifies risks for pension provisions in case of old age. If they fail to the act together as very careful and responsible administrators, it has to be reminded that not all systems invest, envisage such comprehensive linkage between to pay as you go and funded schemes. There have been not so very successful examples where a similar second pillar has key cased to exist. Therefore, all the proposals need to be well, well balanced and consider not only short-term performance and profits or the wishes of private individuals. The focus needs to be on the goals and specificities of the particular pension system. The, sum, the same applies to expectations regarding automatic enrollment 
and nudging effects in the environment where a mandatory funded filler already exists, the contribution rate exceeds 30%. The performance is likely to differ from the well-known UK best practice example. I hope today's discussion will contribute to identifying challenges and appropriate solutions for pension systems. Thank you.